In this video, we're going to delete an app from the home screen. The first step in deleting an app is, is locating the app on the screen. So we want to bring voiceover's focus to the particular app. In this case, I'm going to be deleting the Audible app from my home screen because I realized that I downloaded an app that was formatted for my iPhone and not for my iPad. So let's find Audible. Dog. Safari. Pick settings. Audible. Okay, so I Double tap to open. So I found Audible. What I'm going to do is double tap, and now instead of lifting my finger after I tap the second time, I'm going to hold it down until I hear a sound. And then an announcement will be made that says, Moving Audible. Now, you may wonder, why are you hearing, why are you listening for Moving Audible when you're trying to delete it? It's actually the same process, and we're going to be covering moving an app or moving an icon in a later video, but in this case, we're just going to delete it. So I'm going to double tap. Moving Audible. Audible. After I hear the announcement moving Audible, I know that we're in this mode which allows me to either move or delete the app. Now, visually what happens is the all the icons on the screen start wobbling, which means that I'm in this particular mode. So now, again, I'm going to find the Audible app. Settings. Page 1 of 2. Page Audible. Double tap to delete. Right. So as you notice, the, the um, announcement now has changed. So instead of double tap to open, it now says double tap to delete. So I'm going to double tap again with one finger and then lift my finger. Alert. Delete Audible. Deleting Audible will also delete all of its data. Okay, and it opens a dialog box which kind of, you know asks me to confirm that this is actually what I want to do. So I'm going to flick through the buttons on this dialog box and let's see what else is here. Deleting Audible will also delete all of its data. Okay. Delete button. There's a delete button. Cancel button. And there's a cancel button in case I changed my mind. I didn't, so I'm going to go back to the delete button. Delete button. And double tap. Messages. Okay. Double tap and hold to move. Once I'm done deleting this app, if there were any other apps on the screen that were to the right of it in the grid that, we were, that we've talked about before, that gap gets closed. So the space that Audible occupied is now occupied by another app which was to the right of it on the screen. iBooks. And that would be the iBooks app. We're still in that delete mode, so in order to get out of that mode so that we can now access the content on our iPad, just press the home key. So we've exited this edit mode or this moving slash deleting mode and the icons have now stopped wiggling. The only thing for voiceover users is there is no audible cue that we've now exited this particular mode. So you have to be kind of careful and know when you're in and out of this mode. One way to check is by touching an icon. If it says uh, double tap to delete, then you know you're still in that mode. If, you, if it says double tap to open, then you know that you've exited that mode. Page one of one, settings. Double tap to open. Right, double tap to open. On a visual note, when you enter the delete mode or when you double tap to enter the delete mode, what happens is on the actual icon that is to be deleted, a little X appears on one of the corners, which says this icon is deletable. A lot of the other icons that come pre-installed on your iPad, like Messages and Calendar, do not have that X. So that means that you can't delete them off of your iPad. You can definitely still move them to different sections or different screens, and we'll be doing that in a later video, but you cannot delete them. And that's deleting icons.